Hey everyone, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. Hope this video finds everyone safe and isolated and free of coronavirus. So uh, I hope you have some uh, hives that you can get out and work on and uh, not just sit around in the house all day and uh, watch YouTube videos. <laughs> so today I've got uh, five supers I'm going to put on. I got hives number two. Uh, three, four, six, seven, and eight that are, uh, four of them are just busting at the seams. Uh, I went and I did, I was gonna do uh, high body rotations. They didn't need it, they were so strong. They had brood, lots of brood in the bottom and top. And a couple of them are really heavy too. They've got a lot of honey left over from the winter in them. So uh, the nectar flow is starting uh, it's been raining. It's been raining like crazy. So uh, today it's uh, overcast, chilly. None of the bees are flying. So uh, it's just asking for it going into a hive now. So uh, all I'm going to do is pop the top and uh, put that super on with an excluder and get out of there. So uh, with that, let's get started. Okay, if you notice something different today, got on my full suit. <laughs> I learned my lesson. So uh, hopefully they won't be too bad. And I know just like every bee is in this hive because there's not a lot flying going on. It's It looks like it could rain any minute and it rained most of the night. So uh, I'm just gonna smoke them from the top and uh, get this thing in here. Try to crack it as easy as possible. Get this excluder cleaned up a little bit. It's a little bit of bridge uh, comb on here from last year. If it was very bad, I'd melt it off of there, but it's not too bad. They probably enjoy that being done right on top of their hive too. Not a smart move if you're worried about <laughs> making them mad. Okay. Lots of festooning going on up here. Ooh, easy girls. I'll show you that real quick. See if you can see this in here or not. Well, they're not doing it now. All they're doing now is coming out after me. Okay. Gonna get them smoked down as much as I can here. Move nice and slow. So this keeps the queen out of my honey super. A lot of people say you don't need them. What I found is if you put on a honey super that you've got drawn comb that you stored over winter, like that, the queen will go up there and fill that up with eggs. And uh, that's not what you want in your honey super. If your intent is to harvest honey, that is. Boy, I don't like this veil on this suit. The uh, This mesh is real close to your face, and when those bees are like right in your face, they're just like a half inch from your nose. So I gotta make sure and keep it pulled down. I don't know why this one is that way. 
Okay. Success. So this is drawn out comb that was harvested last year and then it was set out for the bees to clean up and then it was stored over winter. I have some videos that show how I store my comb over winter if you want to check those out. That's the angry hive there. I'll be darned if I didn't have a bee go up my leg and sting me on the leg. <laughs> I don't mind those on the leg and the arms, but man, when they get you in the face, I don't, I don't like that at all. Did it again. Yeah, so we got five of them done, uh, probably out of about, so I have around 25 active hives right now. So I'm guessing probably 20 of those are gonna need honey supers. So still got to go through the four down here and the rest down these two rows here and uh, check them out and see what status they're in. This rain has really put me far behind and uh, as you can see, they're really grumpy. So uh, even just popping the top and putting a super on, they didn't care for that at all. And uh, man, even though I had my full suit on, one of them got up my pant leg somehow and uh, got me on the leg. <laughs> So anyway, uh, hey, give me a thumbs up on the video and 
subscribe on your way out and y'all stay safe and stay socially isolated so we can get this virus thing under control we'll catch you on the next one take care